Good morning you guys, it's Karen and today we are doing an ingredient spotlight on retinal or retinaldehyde. And I'm going to mention a few products that there are or the products that I know of that have retinaldehyde in them. Retinaldehyde is often shortened to retinal and that can be very confusing because it then sounds like and looks like retinol because retinol is O-L and retinal is A-L but they're very different things. They are both retinoids and retinoids is just the overarching name for anything that is Convert, converted to and used in the skin as retinoic acid. So for example, the one that most of us know is tretinoin, and that is already available in the skin once you put it on as retinoic acid. It doesn't need to be converted, you put it on, it's used as, as retinoic acid, it is the strongest um, of the retinoids. Retinol is another retinoid that we're all familiar with. And when you put retinol on your skin, it needs to be converted firstly to retinal or retinaldehyde and then to retinoic acid. So you'll notice that retinal or retinaldehyde sits in between retinol and tretinoin or retinoic acid. So it would seem sensible to assume that retinol is weaker than retinoic acid. And in fact, we know that and that being as retinal or retinaldehyde sits in between those, that retinal is stronger than retinol and weaker than retinoic acid. Um, but in fact, there isn't any evidence currently showing exactly how strong this is, but there is evidence showing that it is effective um, and that it is effective as an anti-aging product. There are two main studies that have been carried out in retinaldehyde, and the first one was to see how well tolerated retinaldehyde is topically on human skin. Um, this was over three months and they started off with a 1% topical cream. Um, this was tolerated by 70% of the people tested. And so they kind of reduced it until they get to a point where most people can tolerate it. And that was a 0.05% or a 0.1%. The 0.5% was slightly better than the 1%, but not enough to say that this could be used as a commercial preparation. So 0.05% or a 0.1% is what was agreed to be something that the majority of the population could tolerate. The second study is a very small study done in 21 people only, but it was done over a year, which is good. Um, and it was done using some good techniques to measure the outcomes. It doesn't look like it was double blind, so that's not great, but um, it was using retinal, 0.5% um, in half of the people and then on the other half and just an emollient cream, so just a control group. Um, and then at the end of the year, comparing the people that had used just a cream to the people that had used a retinal cream. Um, it was done by a company, a research company in France. So it could be that they were working for, they were doing the research for Avene, I'm not sure, um, or Avene. Um, because they are a company that produce a 0.05% retinal cream. But I don't know that. Um, but it's, it's an interesting study in that what it showed was over that year, the skin thickness did increase, the epidermis increased and elasticity increased. But it wasn't statistically significant. So it's not it's not a big study, there's definitely more research needs to be done. But when you put those two studies together, what it's telling you is that they are, they are showing promise as being effective as an anti-aging product without the irritation that you get from tretinoin, which is known to be effective, but is also known to be an irritant. So that's the evidence. Let me tell you about the products that I have seen and kind of used. I'm not doing, this is not a full review of these products by any means. This is just a first impression um, and telling you what's out there. The first one is one I don't have, but it's by Osmosis and it's called a vitamin A serum. Um, it's a, around about 75 pound, depending on the strength you get. Um, and you can get it from several websites. If you put it into Google, you'll see lots of different websites coming up. And the reason I'm not giving you one is because I've never heard of any of the websites and so I don't know any of them. And I think to be spending 75 pound, you know, on a website that you don't know, I can't recommend one. I wasn't comfortable spending that money on any of the, 
the website so that would be a personal choice um, however I have bought some retinol products and tried them the first one that I bought was in my time away from YouTube so kind of just after Christmas I bought this Medicaid Cristal retinol I actually bought mine from eBay which in itself may be a risk because you could be getting a fraudulent product um, but I I feel that I did due diligence you know I checked the seller and they had excellent feedback um, I looked closely at the product and compared it to pictures you know normally there are little giveaways um, in the writing the packaging something and it came sealed I, I feel like it's the real deal so I got mine from eBay um, and it was £60 and I used this Cristal Retinol 6 and I've used up the whole tube as you can see I love the packaging actually so this Retinol 6 is a 0.06% Retinol I had no issues with this whatsoever um, and to just give you a brief overview of my experience with retinoids um, I've used HPR and Grand Active Retinoid in the past, never had any issues with them. I have had huge issues with retinol of all percentages, even the lowest, especially on my neck. And when I say issues, I mean hives, red, raw, itchy skin, um, terrible issues. So I won't use retinol anymore. I have used Obagi Tretinoin. I have used Retirides, you know, from abroad, Tretinoin, and I don't have issues with red itchy skin but I have had really dry flaky skin even doing it very very slowly and so it was just a bit of a deal breaker for me because my foundation would just look terrible um, even using you know the lowest once a week and trying to build it up and all that so that's been my experience and why I'm trying different things but with this not even a bit of dryness um, I mean my skin is a little bit dry anyway but no peeling no irritation nothing at all so I went ahead and bought Cristal Retinol 10. Um, I've used this just once or twice just to make sure nothing crazy happened and it hasn't. It's just a very lightweight cream. That All of these have a kind of orange tint, which I find interesting. Um, this one leaves a slight sort of orangey yellow color on you, but nothing that, you know, if you use it at night, it's, it's not something that's stained anything. And if you use it in the day, it's going to be covered up by your makeup. So it's not something that has bothered me. Slight medical scent to this one. It's a very odd scent, that. So that one, again, I got from eBay and they're about £70. So that's Medicaid. Then I got the Avene Physio Lift. Now, I've got my notes here because it, the Avene is very complicated. Um, and as far as I can see, there's only Medicaid, Osmosis and Avene, or certainly for us in the UK. But with Avene, I emailed them and asked them if they could tell me what the percentage of retinol was in their physio lift. Um, and they won't tell me. And even in their ECL, they won't tell me. They said it's a secret, basically. <laughs> um, but there is the ECL that I'm going to show you. They have a product in the USA and on their website in the USA called Retinol that is exactly the same as this. So it can be a bit complicated, but they have the PhysioLift Night. This is PhysioLift Night Regenerating, Soothing Regenerating Night Balm. I'm gonna link all of these and I will put in brackets what I believe the percentage of retinol to be. Um, and this was only 20 pound from Boots. It was on offer. I think full price is maybe 25 pounds, something like that. Um, and I believe this to be 0.05%, but I can't be sure. However, this has got fragrance in it for sure. This is one, like I said, it's got still got that slight sort of orangey yellow tone to it. But as soon as you put it on, oops, um, you can smell the fragrance. So if you, like me, would prefer it to not have fragrance, and certainly not that strong if you've got any kind of sensitive skin, you're going to want to avoid this one. And they don't put fragrance in everything, so bear with me. So this is the Physio Lift Night. So if you're trying to avoid fragrance, avoid this one, but that's a 0.05%, I think. Then there is this Istial. This one I got from Amazon for 30 pound. Still has that kind of yellowy orange color. Yeah, I can't smell anything from this. And I don't believe it has fragrance in it. And this one 
is a 0.1%, so is actually stronger than this one, but not that much more expensive. And if you look at the ingredients, I have had them on my screen side by side to the not to the Avene Retronal, which you can find on the Avene USA site. They are word for word exactly the same, so they're in exactly the same order. Um, and so that is a 0.1% retronal, but it's called Istial in the UK for some reason. So I believe this to be a 0.1%, even though they won't confirm it. There's obviously something to do with some legal something or other. Or th there's some reason for it, and I don't know what it is, but I can't see why this wouldn't be 0.1% when the ingredients are in exactly the same order. They've just called it something different here. Um, and this one doesn't have fragrances. So this would be the one I would recommend because this one that I've showed you from Medicaid, Retinal 10, this is 0.1%. Um, and so this is exactly the same. The only difference is you don't have proof. This doesn't actually say it. Nobody's confirming it other than I'm saying to you that I think it is because the ingredients are the same as the Retinal 0.1%. Um, but this one is 30 pound and this one is at least 60. More if you go to, I think you can get it off, is it Skin Store? You know, there's a couple of other sites, but it will be 70 plus postage. So this one is 30, I think it was 32, 31.99, something like that. And I've used it and it feels lovely. It feels really, really nice. Um, there is one other called Avene Triacnil that is £12 that I think is a 0.05% but it also has fragrance in it and it has another ingredient that's supposed to be good for acne. I have to say the fragrance isn't high on the list um, of ingredients but it's there um, and you know I was surprised how strong the Physio Lift one smells considering how low on the list the fragrance is um, and I would say if you've got acne you generally don't want to be aggravating it with fragrance it's really unnecessary um, but you know it's down to price because that one is only £12 on Amazon and if that's something that you really want to try and that's your budget you know I, I would totally understand buying that because that's certainly what I would have done when I was younger and struggling with um, with acne. I was buying things with alcohol in not that long ago when I didn't have the, the budget to buy things without it, you know, um, there were certain products that worked for me. The, none of these things are going to work quickly for you. That's something to, to point out that if you think using tretinoin, even when you, like when I went to the doctors and I got prescribed different actually, um, you know, they told me come back in six months and tell me if it's worked. I think I was to go back in three months and see if there was any improvement, but that it would take six months to see the full difference. And so the same with tretinoin, it's six months to a year before you're gonna see any differences with, with aging. And bearing in mind that retinal, retinaldehyde is not as strong as using retinoic acid. So something like tretinoin, retin-A, as you would probably know it, um, it's going to take a while and so that's why I can't specifically review how effective these are or tell you how effective retinal is. The studies aren't there. I can tell you maybe in a year, but I will be using other things as well as retinal. I am going to, I'm not sure if I'm going to use the Physio Lift. I don't want to waste products, but at the same time, I didn't realize how strong the fragrance would be. I may send it to my mum because I know that she will enjoy it and I know that she won't mind about the fragrance. Um, and so I'm going to slot the ECL and the Medicaid into my skincare routine. I'm going to use my own products <laughs> to create my skincare routine. I've got, do you remember I did a skincare routine ages ago where I did a spreadsheet? Well, I've now created documents. They're actually on Etsy and I'm going to do a video for you, but it's just, I work out what my issues are and then I write down what products would work for those and then I write down, I use a, a document that I've created that tells me what not to use with what, and then I slot it all into a routine. And so I'm going to use that and create a routine with retinal and one other product that I can use with this that is a retinoid alternative. Um, and so you will see that. You will see a video on my updated skincare routine. I'll link these, my Etsy page that has these, they're called printables, and this is everything that you need to create a skincare routine um, in case you're interested. But there will be a video 
showing my updated skincare routine soon. That's everything for today. Do let us know if you know of any other retinol products, especially if you're outside of the UK. I used to link USA products for you guys, but they changed, the whole Google thing changed about a year ago, maybe longer than that. And I now can't, I physically can't get onto Sephora USA anymore. It will only allow me to go to Sephora France, for example. Um, and I can't get onto, I can't look for Google USA. I can't find it. I can't look for Google, uh, I can't use Google to find USA products. So I literally can't help you guys out unless you're physically in the USA or outside of UK, I can't help you out so if you know of any products then feel free to leave it in the comments and that will help anybody else out there um so yeah that's everything i'll tell you what i am wearing today i have got on the kiko um water flower foundation drops i didn't mix it with anything actually i didn't know what to mix it with and i've tried to mix it with a few things and it just hasn't worked so i thought i'll just use it on its own and see so i'll see what i think watching it back and you can tell me what you think um this is in color o2 um, on my eyes is the Visar Amethyst palette that you guys know I love. On my cheeks is the Urban Decay blush in Rapture. On my lips is Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Requiem. And these earrings are those lovely H&M ones that I've had for quite some time. This top is from Next. And that's everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.